Okay, let's do this one now. Ammonium hydroxide plus, what's this called? Perchloric acid. Perchloric acid. No hydro because it's polyatomic. Okay, so this goes to, I don't quite have enough room here, uh, another double replacement, which is NH4ClO4 plus H. Uh, OH. This is also called what kind of reaction? Neutralization. Neutralization. It's a double replacement. It's also an acid and a base go to a salt plus water. So that's a neutralization. Another uh, sort of term uh, for a double replacement, subcategory. How do I know this is a salt? If it's ionic, Anything that's ionic is also called a salt. So I know this doesn't have a metal in it, but uh, I said when we were doing naming, ammonium, if you see ammonium, that's one of two actually polyatomic cations that you know of. Whenever you have a, that polyatomic, you're just going to consider it as a metal, acting as a, a metal. So if you see ammonium, it's, it's definitely ionic. Okay, so let's continue. Now you go to your uh, table, uh, your solubility rules. You kind of look this stuff up. You look at the first bullet for the ammonium hydroxide. Ammonium is soluble. So according to the first bullet, or means it's aqueous. Hydroxide isn't. But hydroxide, that's the fourth bullet on your solubility rules. So we're going to take the first bullet over the fourth. So it is aqueous. Okay, for several reasons, this will be aqueous. Reason one, one possibility, is you look at the first bullet, all chlorates, this is a chlorate, this happens to be a perchlorate, but chlorates are soluble. Another is, what category of naming is this one? Specifically, what kind of acid? Aqueous acid. Aqueous acid. Yeah, in the name, <laughs> if you see an acid, they're aqueous. Okay. So as far as you're concerned, the acids are aqueous. Okay, so this is aqueous. AQ. All right, H2O? Liquid. Yeah, you don't even have to look at the solubility rules. You should know that water is a liquid. Uh, you should know that CO2 is a gas. Carbon monoxide is a gas. H2 is a gas, things like that. F2 is a gas. All the diatomics are gases except for bromine, which is what state? It's a liquid. And iodine is a solid. At room condition. All right, so we got this. Oh, this one right here. Well, this, according to bullet one, ammonium ion is aqueous, and so is the perchlorate. So it's really aqueous. AQ. All right, now we go through our things. Let me just work backwards. Water, a liquid, you don't split up. So leave liquids as is. This one uh, is ionic, so you definitely split it. NH4 plus, plus ClO4 minus. Uh, over here, here's an acid. Happens to be is strong or weak? Strong. Strong. It's on that table I had you remember. I'll also give you the table on the exam. Uh, so this is. Wait, I said it was wrong. Yeah. So it's split it up. I think it's table five two. All right. How about this one? What is this? Base, which is stronger or weak? It's weak. I know it's weak because it is not on that table. Okay. So I don't split up. Here's one that I don't split up. All right, now see what cancels. Only the chlorates will cancel. So I'm left with NH4, OH. It is aqueous, but it's not a good electrolyte. Plus H+, plus, which is also aqueous. All ions we're going to call as aqueous. 
and then goes to NH4, which is aqueous, plus H2O, which we may determine as a liquid. And there's your net ion. Okay? Any questions on that one?